Welcome to the quick guide of SoftComply Risk Manager, the best app for product risk management in Jira Cloud. This guide provides you with an overview of the main features and configuration options for the SoftComply Risk Manager app. Install the app via Atlassian Marketplace. Log into your account and search for SoftComply. Select SoftComply Risk Manager for product risk management. Click Try It Free and start a free trial. You can try all Atlassian Cloud apps up to 30 days, free of charge, and you can see the app subscription status under the Manage Apps view of your Jira instance. Installation is now completed. Let's continue with setting up the first risk project. Find the risk manager under your apps and start using it by clicking on the Create New button to start. Fill in the project details. After this, choose the risk matrix that best fits your risk management requirements. Next step is to choose the risk table format. There are templates for managing project and product risks, and you can also start building a completely custom table. Let's first check out how you can configure the risk matrix. Find the risk matrix from your app menu, and you can customize the risk evaluation model. You can add new risk class, assign it a name and a color to better distinguish it. Hover across the risk matrix view with a mouse, and you will see editing options. Vertical axes show the probability levels. By adding a new level, you can increase the size of the matrix. Now just select the corresponding risk class from the drop-down menu to customize the risk matrix according to your requirements. Now that the risk matrix is in place, let's start managing risks. Open the risk table from the app menu. Start adding your risks to the table using the Add Risk button. Describe your risk adding the required information. The app will calculate the initial risk class automatically after you have defined the values for the probability and severity of the risk. Once you have evaluated the initial risk, you will see if the risk is on an acceptable level. If not, you can start reducing the risk by defining the risk mitigation actions. To create a link between the risk and the mitigation action, that is usually a requirement in another JIRA project, simply start typing in the issue key for the requirement. To verify that the mitigation action lowers the risk, you can add the verification actions that are usually test cases in the same way. Using the plus sign, you can create a new issue to any of the JIRA projects you have access to. Simply select the project and fill in the details. Now you can assess the residual risk by applying the values for residual or final severity and probability. Using the clone until feature, you can speed up populating the risk data in the table. Adjust the definition of the risk and calculate the risk level by assigning the severity and probability values. Continue adding the mitigation and verification action descriptions and links to other issues as described before. This way you will build a fully traceable risk register. The colored icons in the first column show the overall risk evaluation progress. When you click on the risk key, you can open it up in a detailed issue view. You can describe all the elements related to your risk here as well. And by enabling the risk management elements on the top bar, you will be able to change the scores in the JIRA issue view. All these activities are automatically captured in the issue history, and you will have the overview of all the changes for this specific risk over time. Looking back at the table, navigate to the last column. Traceability. It summarizes all the links to the mitigation and verification actions, providing you the full overview of the risk traceability. For reporting, you have various options. First, you can use JIRA dashboards. Create a dashboard and add a risk matrix gadget. Next, you need to select either a risk project or JIRA project where you managed risks and decide if you want to see initial or residual risk matrix or both. This way you will have an up-to-date overview of your risk project. Secondly, you can export your data from the JIRA project into CSV, Excel, or PDF format. As you can see from this example, all the information entered to the table and the hyperlinks to risk issues will be included. The third option is to use the SoftComply Risk Manager for Confluence app. This is a free app with which you can bring your risk reports to a Confluence page of your choice. Simply start typing backwards slash followed by risk and select the type of risk report you want to display on the page, either risk table, risk matrix, or risk history. You can try them all out yourself. In case of any questions, you can reach us at softcomply.com.